So Akamai has announced a managed container service, which is a way for customers to provide us with an application in a containerized uh, environment that we will host, operate, and distribute on behalf of the customer. So our customers tell us that they have an application that they need to reach uh, a certain audience. They give us the business logic and the requirements for that application. And then we deploy it on the Akamai platform with the ability to scale the compute resources out to any edge location that we have on our distributed network of 4,200 plus points of presence but we can leverage any of the compute resources that we have from the core to the edge. And so we're taking advantage of the continuum of compute and the flexibility of Akamai's platform. We're simplifying the deployment and operations for our customers using containers. And then we're allowing the customer to operate their application at scale so that they can reach and deliver uh, an optimal experience to all of their users wherever they are. So it eliminates complexity, it speeds time to market, and because of the flat predictable pricing that Akamai has and our very generous egress allowances and low cost egress, we also believe that it will dramatically improve the performance and cost profile of their application. If you look at Akamai's, of course, through Linode acquisition as well, presence, you know, 300 or more cities, uh, 4,300 point of presence. What does it mean for enterprises who do want to deploy clouded applications, clouded architecture, but what are the roadblocks that they hit that this managed container service and Akamai's reach will address? Absolutely. So I, I think a lot of companies, as they start to move towards platform engineering as a way to accelerate their time to market and simplify operations, they're running into some challenges. The first question is, if I want to use a container, what sort of container platform should I use? Some enterprises, for example, have experiences with Docker. Akamai and the Cloud Native Compute Foundation really favor uh, Kubernetes because of the portability that it enables and the speed of improvement of the platform with all of the open source contributions that uh, Kubernetes enjoys. And so as you start to deploy in a containerized environment, the first question is, do my engineers, do my developers understand how to build in Kubernetes and scale Kubernetes at scale? So they can use Kubernetes as is on the Akamai platform, formerly Linode, or they can decide that they want to start using a proprietary implementation for the hyperscalers. That brings in the next consideration, which is how am I going to consider my application architecture over time? Do I need to take advantage of multiple clouds? In which case, if I do, using proprietary implementations of Kubernetes presents a challenge. There's operational overhead, there's a skills gap, there's the need to really think about which flavor of Kubernetes will I use for which elements of my application. And again, if we focus just on using pure open source Kubernetes, then you don't have to consider those things with the Akamai platform because you'll build on Kubernetes as the open source project, and then that is fully portable to any cloud. As you start to scale and you do your day two operations forward, think about managing a fleet of containers, think about different scalability and security requirements, the overhead and the toil associated with scaling Kubernetes becomes a real challenge. And so with that, we have our application platform, which is also based on open source that allows you to deploy golden templates that will give you ready to run uh, application environments on Kubernetes that are much easier and faster for your organization to scale. Which then brings the third question of when you scale, where are you scaling to and what sort of an outcome are you pursuing? If your goal is to realize low latency application performance, and especially if you have a very data intensive workflow, something like AI inference or agentic AI or you know more mainstream use cases like hyper-personalization or even media streaming use cases, then the limitations of the existing hyperscaler clouds, as much as they have capacity and availability to scale centrally, they really struggle when you go to scale out to the edge of the internet because their CDNs typically don't have the same reach that Akamai has. They don't have the addressability of the compute resources that Akamai has on our platform. And so you end up with this challenge of, do I want to now start to also, in addition to operating Kubernetes at scale, operate my own versions of, if I'm an AWS outpost, so that I can continue to use AWS services, but I have the ability to extend to where my customers are. 
With the Akamai Managed Container Service, you can take advantage of a managed Kubernetes service in the Akamai Cloud. You can take advantage of the full footprint and presence that Akamai maintains in over 700 cities worldwide. And then you have the granularity to scale up where you see demand in those 4,300 plus points of presence that we maintain. Uh, and then we can manage a lot of the fluidity that exists with bursts in traffic or bursts in demand by basically um, managing the distribution and the scale up of your container on your behalf, where we're using your business logic and the requirements of your application to guide us. And then you have the flexibility as a customer to just focus on operating the application itself, not the application and the infrastructure that it runs on.